Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to find another solution to this differential equation here, which is a second order differential equation with non-constant coefficients. We're already given one solution to the differential equation. That's why one at t here. Um, so this is a perfect candidate uh, for us to be using the reduction of order method. So hopefully you watched the previous video where I went over how this method works, because in this video, I'm just going to apply what we talked about in the last one. And we're just going to hammer through and find out what another solution to this differential equation is. So to get started, we're going to have y2 at t. We're going to drop the t here uh, just because it's make, going to make our life a little bit easier and less messy. Um, so what we're doing is we're saying there's another solution here. We're calling it y2, and it's equal to some other function v of t times y1 at t. Um, we don't know what v of t is yet, but we do know what y1 at t is. So we can rewrite y2 as v times y1, and y1 is 1 over t. So it's just going to be v over t, or we can also write that as v times t to the minus 1. Okay, so if y2 is equal to v times t to the minus 1, then the derivative of y2, y2 prime, is going to be equal to, well, we take the product rule here, so we have v prime times t to the minus 1, plus negative v times t to the negative 2, so we're going to just change that to a subtraction sign uh, and we're going to have v times t to the minus 2 and that has to do with us bringing down that minus 1 uh, when we take the derivative of that part. Alright, so now we're going to take the derivative of again and we're going to get y2 double prime and we're going to have to just apply the derivative uh, to each term here by basically using the product rule so we're going to get v double prime times t inverse minus v prime t to the minus 2 and for the next term we have minus v prime t to the minus 2 and when we bring down that 2, that negative 2 it's going to give us a positive sign so we have plus 2 v t to the minus 3 and we can just combine these two like terms in the middle just to clean it up a little bit more so now what we want to do is we want to sub in y2 to the original differential equation uh, where we have y. We want to sub in y2 prime where we have this y prime. And we want to sub in y2 double prime where we have this double prime. And then we just want to do some distribution to get rid of the brackets here. And then when we go to simplify, we have 4t inverse v minus 3t inverse v minus 1t inverse v. So those are all going to cancel each other out and then we can combine this negative 4v prime and this positive 3v prime to get negative v prime. So we're just left with 2t v prime double prime minus v prime is equal to 0. So if you did watch the previous video, I mentioned that the all of the terms with v's would drop out and uh, they do in this case because you don't see any terms with just a v here, so we have done this correctly. So we are going to proceed and to do that, we're going to define, uh, we're going to basically do a change of variables. So we're going to say that there's this other thing, w, and it's going to be equal to v prime. And there's, that means that w prime would then be equal to v double prime. So if we substitute that in, let's move up here. Uh, basically, we have 2t w prime minus w is equal to 0. And now 2t w prime minus w equals 0 is a first order differential equation. And the solution to this basically is just going to be w. So that's what we're going to look for now. We can just rearrange this a little bit to say that w prime is equal to w over 2t. And then we can even bring the w down. So we have w prime over w is just equal to 1 over 2t. Now when we see w prime over w, we, we can recognize that this is the result of taking the derivative of the natural log of something. So we can just even rewrite the left hand side as basically the derivative of ln of w. Ln of w, just like that. Um, and then, so we haven't changed the left hand side and this is just 1 over 2t. But now what we want to do is we want to integrate both sides. So when we take the integral of the derivative of a thing, we basically are just left over with that thing. So we have ln of w is equal to, uh, let's pull out the, the constant here. So we have 1 half times the integral of 1 over t dt. So if we just keep going, we have ln 
of w is equal to one half times uh, the integral of one over t, so that is going to be ln of t. And then what we can do, another step here, we have ln of w, just basically with our natural log rules, we can bring this half in here as an exponent, so we have ln of t to the one half, and if you exponentiate both sides, or you can just realize that w is going to be equal to t to the power of one half. So if you remember down here, we had w is equal to v prime. So this is also equal to v prime. So if we integrate both sides, uh, the v prime and the t to the 1 half, we're going to be left with v is equal to the integral of t to the 1 half dt, which simplifies to v is equal to 2 thirds t to the 3 half. So if you remember back to way over here where we said that y2 is equal to v times y1, then we can say that y2, maybe let's write it up here where we have some more space, y2 is equal to v times y1. Um, so we have y2, uh, so we have 2 thirds t to the 3 half times y1, and y1 was 1 over t times t to the minus 1. Then this just simplifies down to y2 is equal to 2 thirds t to the 1 half. And so this is y2, this is another linearly independent solution to our original differential equation.